I gotta put my seatbelt on. Love you from the first time you call me late. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is a little bit different. Well, not really different. We are doing a budget DIY uh, kitchen. This video is hands free though, just so you know. So I both hands on I promise. Um, so, so since I've become a stay at home mom, we have I don't no longer have my own income. Um, so that means I can't splurge on things that I want all the time because we are on a very tight budget in order to be able to afford like Netflix and Disney Plus and stuff like that. So, um, Mama's got to organize the kitchen because it is an absolute mess since we um, put all the stuff back in the cabinets. I just kind of threw things together because I did not know how I wanted to organize it. So I'm on my way to the dollar store right now and we are going to pick out a couple things um, and I think I'm giving myself a $20 budget because I think that's a really average reasonable amount for um, pretty much anybody to be able to do. So $20 budget for a kitchen organization. The trick is also to reuse a lot of the stuff that you already have. So when you go to the dollar store, think about what you already have at your house to organize things in um, and then just get a few things to accentuate that. and help it um, become a little more organized. So I hope you guys enjoy and go ahead and subscribe for more videos. It looks so great. I'm on my way home. I spent $20.45, um, but I also bought like snacks and I bought a dust pan for my house because I don't have a dust pan. Um, so I didn't just buy like organizational things, so I actually spent under $20 for this project. So go ahead and keep on watching and I will show you how I am going to put this on. Okay, so I got some of these really cool containers. They have lids and I think they might be stackable. I'm not 100% sure. So I got these, I got two of those. Um, I got one of these, it's got like a drawer. Whoops, wrong side. It's got a drawer in it and these are stackable. Um, I got three of these, just plastic bins. I'm gonna use it in my cupboard. Some of these, cute little jars. Um, I did buy extra sponges. There's cheese on my counter. I bought extra sponges, um, I found these containers, they're lip top lids, I got two of those, I bought more sponges, I bought some snacks for Malcolm, I bought, so I bought three of these, three of these, two of these, two of those stackers, and then one of those. So that's technically my organization that I got, and then I'm just gonna be reusing everything else. So, let's see how this goes. Okay, so before we jump into the video, I wanted to um, go ahead and give a shout out to my friend Siobhan over at my home library. She is from Australia and she is so cute. She does all the same kind of videos that I do. She does cleaning videos, decoration videos, um, organization. She does like vlog type videos. She is just getting started on YouTube like I am. So I wanted to give her a shout out. So I will leave her links down below for her Instagram and her YouTube. Go ahead and follow her. She's also a bookworm. So if you guys um, are bookworms out there, go ahead and follow her Instagram account because I know she does a lot of uh, and it's my my home library um so I know she does a lot of like uh, book posts and stuff like that so go ahead and follow her and then um, we'll go ahead and get on to the video I'll go ahead and insert a clip of her video here 
Some Your lights to budget. Yeah, independent women. So many independent women here. Thank you. Did I put the locks in the wrong song? Oh, they are locked already. Oh, my right. Oh, that's gonna piss me off. That's pretty good. Here's how they turned out. A bit patchy, whereas the small one was okay. I'm gonna just gonna wipe these window sills down and vacuum the floors and then I'm gonna die. Okay, so. Definitely go ahead and give her a like and a follow. Let's go ahead and get on into the organization now for this budget Dollar Tree kitchen organization. That hurt my elbow. Beep. Okay, you guys, so this is my junk drawer and it literally is collecting everything, um, especially since we're in the middle of a renovation. It has um, so many different like tools, um, not really tools, but like screws and bolts and nails and stuff like that. So I'm putting all of that in one little container so that way if we need something, I can just, just open the miscellaneous container um, and it's got stuff. But at least this is like kind of containing the mess. I am by no means organizing this into a system. I'm just trying to contain the mess so that I can actually close and open my drawer. So the goal is not perfection, the goal is something that is manageable. Remember that. Okay, so the next problem that I'm going to tackle is going to be the Tupperware situation. I know everybody has this um, going on in their life where you have billion containers, uh, you have a bunch of lids, nothing seems to go together, so you end up just using tinfoil or saran wrap and just kind of calling it good. Um, so what I've actually been doing, and it's been helping a ton, is I've just been matching my Tupperware to lids when I put them away. So anything that doesn't have either a Tupperware container or a lid, um, like anything that's not a set, it's just going in a separate little basket. So if I am missing the bottom of a Tupperware, I can just look through the basket. So, um, but then at least I have things on deck that are actually complete sets. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with my casserole dishes up top. Now I am missing two of the lids to my bigger dishes, but I usually just use them to bake with anyways. I don't use them to store things, so I'm not really worried about that. But my smaller ones, I was able to find the lids and I just paired them all up up and put them away. Cause I remember everything you did and everything I became out of like a no. So why are you doing this tonight? You always know how to be in the sentimental. You always say the right things like Okay, so for um, this cabinet is actually all of just Malcolm's stuff. So I'm storing the trays vertically to save space and then I'm utilizing baskets because I am pretty sure it's hard to see the top shelf. Clearly I'm struggling on this one. Um, so I just put baskets, they both match, they were baskets I already had. Um, lids are in one basket and cups are in the other basket. So kind of like the Tupperware situation, you can just pull it out and find a match and then put it back. But it's easy to grab out the basket to find something than it is to just have to climb up there and shuffle through everything, things fall out, whatever. So I think this system will work a lot better.
So moving on to our corner cabinet in um, our corner upper cabinet. It's like the one above our Lazy Susan. It's kind of an awkward space. Um, most kitchens have these cabinets and they're deep and wide and they just, they're kind of hard to figure out what to even put in there. So I actually put things that we don't grab very often and then towards the front, I'm actually putting this basket which has our coffee pods and then also another basket which contains quick breakfast ideas. Um, it's just easy to grab and it's right next to the Keurig. Now for my breakfast basket, I actually just got these verb bars in. If you guys have not tried these, these are actually super good. The salted peanut butter was my favorite. Um, I also liked the chai coconut ones. Um, so they basically have as much caffeine as an espresso, but they don't make you all jittery. And honestly, I don't like, I don't know, sometimes my stomach doesn't really agree with drinking coffee, but I need it for the caffeine. So these are actually much better because it's just a really quick snack and it really does wake me up. <laughs> so as a mom, I think that is absolutely necessary. <laughs> Just looking at you makes my whole world spin oh, You don't have to wake up yet oh, We can spend all day in bed I'll put the TV in the room We'll have a Netflix marathon Kenny G saxophone We'll order in a bunch of food your favorite music gone all the way baritone. okay so this is the second uh, shelf of our corner cabinet up top um, I'm using it as an extension of our pantry and putting pantry type items baking things like that that I don't really get to um, and then I'm also hiding my mom's snacks some gummy worms um, my popcorn and then some hot chocolate because I don't like sharing all of the time so that's my little secret until my husband watches my YouTube videos um, but yeah, that was just a way to utilize more pantry space. And now this is our tall, skinny sh uh, shelf. It's got like our cups and stuff in it. So this is the top shelf. I'm putting things that we don't get to very often, but I don't want to get rid of. Um, so I'm putting those up there. This is the second shelf. It's got blender bottle and some mugs. Things that I reach often, but um, isn't going to be for every um, every use. So just putting that out of the way and then the coffee's in there because my Keurig's right below this and then on the very bottom shelf is where we're putting our cups I actually don't have a ton right now because most of them were in the dishwasher so that's why it was empty and this is our pots and pans rack um, I'm just kind of gonna straighten this up a little bit I really don't have a way to organize this um, but this was a really good idea as far as when we built these cabinets um, he did offer to to build one of these pull-out spice racks, or not spice racks, cookie sheets, cookie racks, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it was probably the best decision that we made. <laughs> Okay, so moving on under the kitchen sink. Um, so I always uh, store bulk stuff in the back, but this big basket is actually all of our um, chemicals and stuff that we do not, absolutely do not want Malcolm to get into. So like floor cleaner, bleach, um, disinfectants, stuff like that. Um, so we put it in this big box and kind of tuck it in the back because he's more, um, he's, it's, he's, it's not easily accessible to him. So we do that. Um, and then I hide bulk items behind it, things we don't access very often. Then everything else I wanted to be right up in the front. So I got these cute bins at the dollar store for um, my sponges. So I have a couple different sponges. I just like having backups of those for when they get the ones in your sink get yucky and then you can just pull out a new one. Ta-da! Um, so yep, just tucking everything back in there out of the baby's reach. Eventually these will also be locked. So don't worry too much about that. Um, but yeah, I, my tip is basically just utilize baskets, contain things in little sections of how you get to them, and it's you're not gonna have to shuffle through anything to find what you need.
Okay, so this is a drawer in our island. Um, we have our extra spices in there, and then we also have like our hot mitts and our towels and stuff like that. I had a hard time organizing this. I actually ended up storing some cookbooks on the bottom part of the shelf or the drawer and then putting a basket over the top of it. So if we need to access those books, you can just lift the basket up and you don't have to shuffle through anything. Um, again, baskets are your best friend. So, um, and then it made actually a really nice little spot for my towels. So that worked out nicely. And then this is also from the dollar store. So I'm using it to store my um, bullion cubes. Uh, I don't know how exactly how you say that. Um, yeah, I, I buy those because I don't wanna have chicken broth in my pantry or anything like that. So anyways, um, I just thought it was super cute and they fit actually perfectly <laughs> in this uh, little container. So those acrylic organizers at the dollar store are amazing. So if you have not um, been to the dollar store lately, they have a bunch of different ones now. So go ahead and check it out. So for the rest of my drawers, I'm actually kind of just uh, tidying them up a bit. I don't have any more dollar store bins for those. Um, I don't even know why there's deodorant in my silverware drawer, um, whatever. Anyways, yeah, so I apologize for today's voiceover. It's like, I think midnight almost. Um, I'm exhausted, but I need to get this posted for y'all on time so I've been doing pretty good but anyways um, yes yeah, so I'm just kind of tidying everything up straightening it up um, if you guys are um, enjoying videos like this uh, like I said go ahead and check out my girl Siobhan and then um, subscribe to both of our channels you'll be notified when we post new ones and thank you guys so much for watching I know this is a long one but we appreciate it